Yeah. Oh shit, we're going in. <laughs> A non-stop debate. Another non-stop debate. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Celeste account. It's the same one. I think we're flashbacking. Oh, yeah, I think this might be a flashback. To go exercise. So next we have to ask. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit? That he did. Specific tracksuit. On the culprit was wearing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we found it. We f f things are getting a bit little. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it. But I don't know where, where to flick that in. Or do we do I use this onto that? Yeah, maybe I think that's the case. There's a contradiction. Oh no, we didn't do shit. God damn it! It's the blue track shoe, man. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. What do you mean exercise? What, what's this? Is it this one? Hmm. He was on his way to go exercise. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's one of these. No. All right. Maybe it wasn't a flashback then. There we go. There we go. It wasn't a flashback. It wasn't a flashback. Damn, don't you? <laughs> there, there goes my points there. What did I say? Here we go. Here we go. There's the contradiction. You're telling me? Saw him stuffing a track jacket. Yep, only we know that I was blue. Oh, I just like nearly blew my back there. The, oh. A big contradiction has happened. Mondo. Mondo. Oh, and he's all, you know, buddy buddy. The attacker, they both but but fucked. In that sauna. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, 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 oh. I'm falling up on my controller, he's like behind me. That's not good. Calling to Celeste's testimony. Calling to Celeste's. She stuffed the jacket into a bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. Just like that, she was gone. Where is the bag? Yeah, you couldn't have possibly see what color the tracksuit was. Oh, all right, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, I get it. 
藤崎千尋のジャージの特徴から考えれば奴が誰と会ったのかは明白だなんてさレ事をなるほどウラフだったのですねあなたの真の目的は犯人の出現を引き出すことだったのですねそのために犯人が分かったなどと言って動揺を誘ってそうよただし私は最初から大和田君を狙い撃ちにするつもりだった All at the very beginning. All along, she knew, apparently. Or she, she think. The way he talked. A certain turning point. あいつと呼んでいたはずよそして殺人が起きた後大和田君は藤崎千尋のことをあいつと呼ぶようになっていたわその時に思ったのは大和田君は藤崎千尋が男だと知っていたんじゃないかそんな些細なことに気づいていたとあはた魔女恐しい女ねいいえ恐ろしいのは私なんかじゃない本当に恐ろしいのは人を仲間を殺す人間よ大田君本当に君なの本当に君が藤崎さんを殺したのこここ殺してねえ大体何なんだよさっきから聞いてるあアゲアしとったり言葉尻捉えた程度で俺を犯人扱いするってのかそうだ兄弟がそんなことするはずがない言いがかりに決まってる確かに根拠としては弱いわねそんなあっさりと S が困りましたわねもう手がかりはありませんわよ<笑>、うん、そろそろ出番おいさあやめですターン僕のゴーストが A little ghost friend is telling me. Yeah, he did find some evidence. What kind of evidence? Yeah. Let's see. Found an E handbook lying on the ground. And it must be. It must belong to. Alright, I did it. Alright, sorry. Uh oh. We're gonna kill ourselves if we do this. <laughs> All right. I got a bit too ahead of myself again. Missing from the scene of the crime. But it's busted. It's busted. In fragile. Alright. He took the fucking monokuma takes so long to talk. Some kind of mystery in there somewhere. How did the handbooks get broken? Um, it's weak point. It's weak point. We're getting healed, though. That's all right. Ugiya, Ugiya. May let that slip, but I never told anyone what 
the weak point actually was. Yes, that's correct. Someone, someone figured out this weakness. You're asking me. Necessarily, necess necessarily necessary piece of information. For a fair child, that's pretty good convincing. Why would we, yeah? A weakness for pushy demands. You won't follow the example. Alright, a special announcement. The weak point of his cutting edge handbook, E handbook, is high temperatures for too long. High temps. You in? On the floor of the sauna. You reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burned, huh? As you sweat, evaporates, creates a cooling layer of air on your skin. More you know, eh? The more you know. <laughs> if the hot air of the sauna somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. Alright. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. Can you not put a sensation there, guys? When you proofread this shit. <laughs> a burning sensation. One new fact today, yeah? Good, good fact right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right.偶然知ったんだとしたら。偶然とはどういう意味だ。but who would have done something like that, eh? Eh? Yeah, Makoto knows. Makoto, you know it all, eh? You were a specific witness in this scenario. Oh, Taka knows. Who, who might have brought that handbook? There'd be one person. Got it. Got it. The facts are down. The facts are all down. Oh. Fucking Taka. This is heartbreaking for him. Heartbreaking. An endurance contest, yeah. Oh, we get to see the lovely scene here. The actual solid proof. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but I don't want to believe it either. I found something. You found something? Wait, hold on. I'm not ready for this. Be on the shoulder. Oh shit, it's a non stop debate again. Oh shit. 
Bam, bam. Oh, shit. There's five. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, shit. I can't even look. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. I don't even know any of these. Oh, it's Aoi's account. Oh shit, I don't know any of these. Even I, do, even I don't want to believe Mondo might have actually killed someone. What? I don't know. Shit, I need to know what the... Uh, shit. Handbook. All right, yeah. All right. All right. Let's let's rework God. What was that? No, it's not that. What's the other stuff we got? Another case file. E handbook. What's the card reader? Um. Uh. I don't know any. I don't know if it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what fits what. Broke your own handbook. Alright, Mondo's. Yeah, Mondo's. Yeah, yeah. We broke in. Card reader. Oh shit, this is gonna bounce off. Oh, it's gonna miss! Uh. <laughs> okay. We've got more time for this. Is it a card reader? I don't, I don't know. Um, um, yes, yes. Alright, hey, he's down. We're, we're gonna use this. Alright, we fucked up. We fucked up. A contradiction. What's, what's, what's the contradiction, guys? I can't. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His goddamn handbook works just fine. Works just fine. Maybe it's that one. If this if this isn't it, I'm on I'm on a uh, hot shit. All right, here we go. Oh shit, it's gonna bounce. It bounced. It bounced. Break, break, break. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Alright, let's do this again. Well, at least I'm uh, farming for these dudes, I guess. Alright, hold on. This right? No, I... What the fuck, Joe? What am I doing wrong here? What is it?自分の電子制度手帳を壊したことになる。つまり大和君の生徒手帳が壊れていれば、今の推理が正しいということになりますわね。俺の電子制度手帳はちゃんと。<笑> Time's a ticking though. Even I don't want to believe Mondo might have actually killed someone. But I have something that proves it. What, the handbook? Oh, that was a count. It's not a case file. 
Could have been the card reader. I tried that though. The broken E handbook? But that's Leon's, right? So that's not it. Let's check it. The broken E handbook. Oh shit, it is the broken E handbook. <laughs> shit, it is. It's the broken E handbook. Get, get to it. Get to it. Alright. There we go. There we go. It didn't click. It didn't click. That's what I like about this. Oh, that's what I like about this. You need, you need to get your head on here. But I'm not. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking good so far. All right. Here we go. I'm on like one and a half. One and a half health here. This has been a shit storm. Yeah, shit. I didn't click. Damn. The main hall is actually Mondo's. Alright, yeah. But if they're dead, they're not a student, alright. But it's okay in his books. You're wrong about this. You're welcome to say so. どうしたんだ兄弟。言ってやりたまえ。間違いだと。そうだ。間違いだ。間違いに決まっている。今の推理はどこかが決定的に間違っている。全てお前のでっち上げなんだ。だったらもう一度最初から事件を振り返ってみ
Um. Wow, I don't, I don't know. Um. That one over there, I hope so. All right. All right, the bloodlust, yeah. The pen, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're missing this one. I don't know. Um, what could it be? All right. Oh shit, we just like missed a big one right over here. What the fuck? Um, that's not it. No, that's not it, right? Um, or maybe. It might be it. Um. He takes it off. Shit, this is going. This is going to be near the wire here. Hey, yeah, he's saying that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, maybe, maybe that one there. Let's react. Oh God, four minutes? What the hell? We might be wrong here. All right, before the incident. その時、藤崎さんは手にしたスポーツバッグにあるものを入れていたんだ。そう。青いジャージだよ。しかも男子更衣室だったんだ。でも女性だったはずの被害者がどうして男子更衣室に入れたのか。I've is the murder man in the murder suit? Great. Alright, let's see. Oh, he's picking it up. The 50 kg dumbbell. Oh shit. Oh no, good. Splatter all over the place. ポスターやカーペットに結婚が飛び散ってしまったんだよ。ああ、おしん。おそらく衝動的な殺人だったんだ。準備してたとしたら計画性がなさすぎる。ゲームプリーナーヴィスガイズ、ディスナグッド。お
Oh, this fucker had to come in, didn't he? ゲンバに入ったトガミ君は。図書室にあった延長コードを使ってあることをしたんだ。そうなんだ。トガミ君は延長コードを使って藤崎さんの死体を貼り付けにしたんだよ。さらに戸上君は被害者の地で現場に血文字を残したんだあたかもジェノサイダー・ショーの犯行だと僕らに錯覚させるためにねそしてその頃戸上君は偽装工作を行っている一方で藤崎さんのスポーツバッグなんかを
must have replaced it. Oh, I just like need my whole table. Well, he confessed. He killed him. Kill Chero. With this sinister music on? Jeez. Oh shit, we got into the thousands. What the fuck? Alright. A hundred medals for us, eh? I'll take it. Bro. Bro, what you say? <laughs> Get over with. Yeah, I like how our attackers stood up for the bullet time medal. The, you know, the usual uh, murderer would do it. Because that was pretty good. I liked it. I like it. Damn, one hour 40 to do this trial. Fuck. Dude, imagine the last part. It's, I hope it's not going to take like two hours, right? Well, I could spend a bit more time here. I'll spend like another 30 minutes to do chapter three. Or maybe more, who knows? All right, we got it right. Yes, so the blackened who killed Chiro Fujisaki was Mondo Owada. Uh, in case you were wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Koyataka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. I'm yep, sorry. Why are you apologizing? All right, he's gone crazy. Why? Why? Why did you do it? Oh, guy, man. A vow of silence. So allow me to explain on his behalf. Is a star is a sad story of two men. But for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the B button to fast forward the text. Come on, breaking the fourth wall, eh? Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak even though you're a boy. He heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he could, couldn't, he couldn't. Overcome his weakness, couldn't couldn't reach the undent part. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness to take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy, but no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the infer the the inferiority fear. Inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear, instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm, I'm weak. There we go. Once the killing game be had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which of course include Chiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chiro is actually a boy. And that was something Chiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack. The armor would fall away. 
Without doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. And yet... Don't really talk one. Don't, don't really talk about it. <laughs> really, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I could talk about it later. Yeah. After I try my best to become strong, then I could tell anyone or everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. Mm. Now's my chance. Accept who I am. I'm gonna get stronger. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay, I'll get better. With that thought, at the, uh, at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate, what, action? <laughs> action? And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly... That would be the first and only chance he would get at it. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell the per that person his secret first and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... It was him. Yep, it sure was. The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured that, even if he confined in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Plus, Mr. Macho Mundo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Maybe talking to Mundo about it will help me give me some courage. Oh no. Poor, poor Chihiro. So he went and asked Mundo to help him become strong. That was his aspiration. And he thought that only that only with Mundo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. So that must be why Mundo did what he did to keep his promise. Or to keep the promise he made to Chihiro. Huh? Did he... What he, what he, <laughs> you mean that's why Mondo carried Chiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Uh, Wasn't that to cover up what he'd done? It could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep this promise between men he made to Chiro. But how does moving the body keep his secret? Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to su suspect his identities. He tried, to he tried to protect Chiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook, see? Then Mondo did all that to keep the promise he made to Chiro, who he, old he, he also killed. Why? why? Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you? Because no matter what I did... Uh, whoa. Easy, that one's common there. Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. Yeah, buddy. So that's what Chigga did, after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. It's impossible. How many times I repeat myself. To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. Well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you that embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Oh, he set it out. Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had a chance to join a gang in the first place was a because, was a because of a because certain someone. Sorry about that. <laughs> 
Mundo's older brother name was Daya Awada. Mundo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mundo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only Mondo. He was the only Mondo could trust or respect. He was the only one. He wanted to measure up to his big brothers, so he in imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother, Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the members, of the members, of the other members, of the members of the gang. I need to stop doing that, which is why I'm trying to... Gotta get stronger, stronger than Daya. Once, just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't care what it takes, I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo charged him to a street race. Oh Jesus. But during the race, tragedy struck. Hey, Crazy Diamond, what's this? Jojo reference. The kid's brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dash into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Is that a Jojo reference? No, I ain't gonna do that joke again. Oh shit. Lying in his ki in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Diane never blamed him for what happened. Hey kid, the rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's the team you and me put together. It's a p a promise between men. Decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and kept the promise to his uh, the promise to his brother, could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that caused the accident. And as a result. The team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who bested his big brother. Daya was going to lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. I need to read that again. Alright. That's a really... yeah. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. He's strong. And yet. And yet. As soon as our killing game began, began, he realized no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. And the lovely and hateful Akuma announced the revealing of the bouncing secrets. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I've been carrying around, it would have been for nothing. That's why. That's why. Mondo. After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with all kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I never felt anything like it before. I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure 
what to think or say. But after a while, that fuzzy e uneasiness turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. It was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I, he told me a secret. Seriously? Jesus. I saw you, I lied to you. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Because, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would... You're right, but... I want to change. I wrap myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. Felt like he was exposing the lie I've been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. It's so strong, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. The one, you're saying I should just say it. You're saying if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret. Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chiro's strength. He had turned strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I never had. I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. Are you making fun of me? I'm strong? Are you fucking with me right now? I'm, I'm not making fun of you. You're really strong. You really are strong, Mundo. Felt like you hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did you want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just to sit back, let my secret guest reveal and ruin everything? What, what's wrong? Why do you have to tell me that? All that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? No, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. That's right. I am strong. Strong, I'm strong. Stronger than you. And stronger than Dyer. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. Had the dumbbell in my hand, I was just staring at him, down on the ground. Hey! I... killed him. Killed Chiro. Did I miss a line? Uh, even after I hold this time, I'm just as weak as I've always been. Thanks to that, I did something. Can never take back. Damn it, why are you going into the full voice acting here? He was normally so aggressive, so angry. Get that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness lie a weakness lived that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold blooded. God damn it! Fuck you. <laughs> Look at him, you see? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past from a memory. For that, he killed another living human in cold blood. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? I sure don't. You bastard. You shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again, I dare you. Okay, I'll say as many times as I want. Is that what I want to say, but... Fortunately, I can't do that right now because the time for punishing is fast approaching. Punishing. Execution. Execution. That's what I promised. Now then. Special punishment. Punishment time. すまねえな、兄貴。男同士の約束。守れなかった。<laughs>
Turned into butter. <laughs> Laugh at death and your soul will forever be pe at peace. It, it can't be. My, my brother. Another murder. And another execution. I want to feel again. Feels bad, man. Me in real life. Everyone's lives are taken. Are taken. So lightly here. Feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. Oh, a 10 out of 10 voice acting there. I don't know if they repeated the same one though. As Taka's sad screams evaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. Huh. What a disappointment. This is the end of the game. B Byakia! Something. Completely insane, you know that? A game! One of our friends is dead, do you realize that? Tozenda. Of course I do, because this game is life or death! Ne. Don't have anything to say to you, I don't have a response except that. I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? Nanda. Why? Huh. Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, motion emotionless, with the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library, as usual, as <laughs> usual. So you ignored the, ni 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 the nighttime rule, too. <laughs> that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. <laughs> well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late, and decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I didn't say that line. Um, he was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. And clearly, I've got limited uh, voices here. So you're saying you knew th who the culprit was from the very beginning? Indeed, but if that had been the end of it, how boring would have that been? I mean, what a waste of time that... What a waste of time to have the answer revealed that right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would have lightened things up. You did all that to liven things up? <laughs> so after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that? Create the fake murder scene? But damn man, if we hadn't figured out who really did it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before I reached that point. Of course. Byaku turned and looked at me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. 
Once I, oh, here we go. Alright, and once I do decide to become Blacken, I know who I'll have to watch for. What? So. That's your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Yeah. Alright, we're done listening to your shitty story. Moving on. Yeah. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. Alright, he's next. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, right? Correct? My question is, why? You like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair is not just for you. All this despair is my gift to mankind and self. You're over exaggerating. I am not over exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mean? Mean. Mean mode. Mean, mean difficulty. Good grief, I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor and then everything will be revealed to me. Oh, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. Boop, 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 boop. I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. Shut up. I will never I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me say this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm, to, I'm going to find you and kill you, understand? In the name of the Togami family. For which victory is a far gone conclusion. Oh, it's so cool. It'll, it's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. Temper temper, sounds like somebody needs a nap. <laughs> Alright, thanks Monica, you little shit. Peeled? Peeled? Across the car room, and the curtains close on the case of Chiro and Mundo. Oh, I just skipped like 20 times. But I knew it wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue. Because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the worst it was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort and our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Oh, sorry. すごくいいペースだ。やっぱりさ。せっかく連中の中に送り込んだ君の活躍の場がなくなってしまうことだよね。本来なら唇を切るのは君の役目だったんだけど、まあいいか。今日がないから君はそのまま学園生活を盛り上げてちょうだい。みんなそれを望んで